Hi guys, I'm back. Took a couple weeks off. Was sick for a little bit, but I'm back. And welcome to Blues Trick number four. The myth of the Mixolydian Blues. I just hit my camera. Anyway, so if this is your first Stitch Method video, please go back and watch Blues Trick number one, number two, and number three. And now we're going to talk about uh, Blues Trick number four. The myth of the Mixolydian. And this isn't... Um, what you think it is, but it's good to watch. All right, so all over YouTube are lessons riddled with the Mixolydian Blues. So let's talk about that. Uh, a Mixolydian scale is a major scale with a flat seven. So if we're gonna do this in the key of A, uh, a excuse me, we're gonna play the frets five, seven, and then on the A string, four, five, seven, and then on the D string, four, five, seven. And that one note, that is your note that is uh, uh, very specific to the Mixolydian mode, which is known as a flat seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, flat seven, and one. Now, um, I will have a chart to support this, and it's going to be a little uh, draining, I think, but we have to get down to it. Now, a lot of people will tell you to use the Mixolydian scale on the blues, but it, that's wrong. It does not sound right. When you're playing a blues, and uh, you want to sound bluesy, you need to put the minor scale on top of the seventh chord, okay? Minor scale on top of the seventh chord to sound the blues. Now the Mixolydian scale is a major scale. So where does this idea of a Mixolydian come from? Well, if you look at blues trick number one, we talked about bringing in the major third into the minor scale. Okay, which is a trick that uh, Hendrix and all the blues players do. Um, bringing that, and, and Trey, my favorite guitar player, Trey Anastasia, right? Um, they bring that, that major third into the minor scale. It becomes a hybrid scale because, and here's the trick about guitar, really, here it is, is uh, guitar players, you have to be very mindful of the chords being played, and you have to bring those chord tones into your soloing, and it all changes depending on what style of music, but this is the blues. So let's account for, first we have the major third appearing in the hybrid blues scale. Now, the note that is um, responsible for making the Mixolydian Mixolydian is the flat seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, flat seven. Now that flat seven is already in the minor scale. Okay, so that guy right there, which is already in the minor scale, combined with the major third of the chord tone, a lot of people think this is a Mixolydian scale being used, but it is not. It is the hybrid scale being used. Let's hear what it sounds like. Now, I don't have a backing track, but imagine if I played an A7 chord, okay, and I played a Mixolydian scale. more like the Grateful Dead, okay? And again, that's actually what the Grateful Dead were doing. But we're talking about the blues. So the Mixolydian scale is not really used in the blues. The mistake happens when people think, well, there's a major third and a flat seven, and that's what the Mixolydian scale is all about. But like I just said, the major third is from the chord tone from blues trick number one, and the flat seven is in the um, a minor pentatonic. But let's talk about the big miss of the Mixolydian Blues, which is it's a major scale. And this is a video worth, this is where the video really is worth watching is how do you get the major sound into your playing? Well, first and foremost, we brought the major third in on blues trick number one. Okay, so that major third by itself really kicks into high gear in the sounding of the major. But there are some great guitars that sneak this major minor feel back and forth. One of them, again, being the famous Jimi Hendrix. Uh, Jimmy Page does this, Clapton does, everybody does this. Um, and what they're doing is instead of the Mixolydian scale, they are putting the major pentatonic uh, on top of this chord. Now, that's the trick worth watching. This is how you get the major sound associated with what people think is the Mixolydian scale, but really this is the trick. So first, let's go over the two scales now you need to know. Right, you have uh, the minor pentatonic, we're just going to talk about pentatonics, okay? We're going to shed it down. You have five, eight, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, five, eight, five, eight. That's the minor pentatonic, right? And so you can play the blues, and you can, you know, rip that all day long. 
But now let's talk about the move where we put the major pentatonic on top of it. Now, this is still categorized as the blues, and you probably said, wait a second, Ian, um, this, you said the blues is the sound of the minor pentatonic on top of the seventh chords, and it is. But there is no reason you can't for a second give it a little bit of a major feel, just for a second, okay, because it's going to be appreciated. So let's take a look at the A major pentatonic, all right? We're going to use, in this, off the same root note, we're going to use a form two pentatonic, okay? So the notes starting with middle finger are five, seven, and then four, seven, four, seven, then four, six, five, seven, five, seven. To be fair and honest, the most important ones are starting, again, here it is, I'll show you, five, seven, four, seven, four, seven, four, six, okay? We're really going to focus on that guy. It, the real important notes to nailing this are the six on the B string, the five, sorry, six on the G string, the five on the uh, B string, the seven on the B string, the five on the E string, and the seven. Now, this is what people infamously call the BB box, this little thing, okay? Now. What's really cool about this major pentatonic, let's just dissect this, okay, here, that sixth fret, that's the major third of the chord from blue strip number one, we like it, okay, we use it a lot. This guy is the five, all right, so, and that's in our minor pentatonic, it's right there. So these two notes are in that hybrid blue scale, this note, the major six, all right. The major six is the most quintessential note in um, playing the blues when you want to add a little bit of major flair, and then we have the one and the two. So we have the one root note and the two. I know it's going, you're probably like, where's this guy going? But you'll see it. Uh, this two is in blues trick number three. All right, you can add it to, um, to the ninth, to make it, uh, to imply the ninth chord, okay? But this little BB box is the most famous way we add majorness to our soloing. So if I'm soloing an A, a and I start the minor pentatonic, Now, right before I go to the four, I'm going to use a little BB box right there. These two notes, the six and the two, really bring in, and the major third, of course, really bring in the sense of a major scale being played. And you can sit and you can bar this guy here. You can come up and bar these two and the seven. Okay. And this is Hendrix stuff. He sits there. He really uses that major pentatonic, but they use it, most blues players use it before they go to a chord change. So when they're on the one, they play for three bars of the one, and usually right in that fourth bar, somewhere in that fourth bar, they'll bring in that little major pentatonic, and then change. What I'm going to do right now, actually, is I'm going to load up a backing track in A, and I'm going to perform this little magic trick for you. So here are the recaps. Really no such thing as a Mixolydian blues. I'm sorry to say that. It's it's really the flat seven of the minor scale, the major third of the chord uh, that we did, did from blues trick number one. But if we want to get the major feel associated with a Mixolydian scale, we need to use the major pentatonic. So I'll be right back with a loaded backing track in A, and I will show you how to mix and match your minor and major blues pentatonics. Bye. All right, I'm back, and I actually picked a very special backing track, and there's a lot going on in this uh, lesson. Um, we discussed the 12-bar blues in the blues soloing mindset video, and one thing I, I didn't mention, I didn't mention on purpose because I didn't want to confuse anyone, was uh, there are really two types of 12-bar blues, and um, if you study with me, you, you have the one that has four bars of one uh, at the beginning, and there's another style that has one bar of one, one bar of the four, and then two bars of one, and that's very common, and this is actually a backing track that has it, and I picked it because it sounds great, and I want to educate you, so in this backing track, you have a bar of one, and then it goes to the four, and then it goes back to the one for two more bars, and then it goes to the four. Okay, Red House by um, Jimi Hendrix and uh, Crossroads uh, by Clapton use that type of 12 bar. Two types of 12 bars, I know there's three that, yeah, but here we go. All right, so now, here we have um, an A blues backing track, and I'm gonna sit and I'm gonna solo in the A minor pentatonic, use my, use my uh, major third of the hybrid blues scale, again, you need to watch all those videos, and right at the last measure of that one, like the, the fourth one, uh, I'm gonna flash, I'll show you the pattern, I'm gonna, gonna use the major pentatonic here, Okay, just do something like that. Okay. 
okay, as a root note there. And I'm gonna put that little majorness in there before we turn majorness, before we get to the four chord. Uh, I'm mostly minor pentatonic with my hybrid major third. Okay, and then the major pentatonic flash right before the chord change. Let's see what it sounds like. Okay, so here's the first, here we come around to the first one. Here's the first one, minor. There's that four I'm talking about. One. Here's the fourth bar. Four. Now I'm back to my minor pentatonic. Again, minor stuff, just. Five. Four. Back to the one, major, ready? Back to the minor. Major. There you go. Now, I can sit and do this all day, all right? But the point is, let's just talk about the points here, is uh, before the chord change, when we go into the four, and um, even on the last one, before you get to the five, okay, and, and again, if you watch all my videos, this should all make sense. If you haven't watched my videos, watch Blue Strick one, two, and three, uh, and they will all make sense, and the blue soloing mindset. So, uh, it will all be linked below. Um, Minor pentatonic with major with the major third, even adding the ninth we talked about, and then if you want to add some major flair, we put the pentatonic, the major pentatonic, that BB box, a little flair in there, and then we continue on with our minor journeys. And a great place to do this again is on the fourth bar of the one, and also the last bar of the one before it goes to the five. Before it goes to the five, you have six around six beats of that one, and you can throw it in there. All right. So what I'll do right now is I'll do it one more time, point it out. You can you can end the lesson here, but I'll just reiterate what I did again. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, that's pretty much pretty much it. No such thing as mixolydian blues. Just use your brain and use the power of the minor and major pentatonics, and you will be fine. All right. Rock and roll, guys. Here it is again. Have a good one. Let's say goodbye now. Here's the one. Major four. Oh, that I'm on the wrong part. Five, four, and here's that last one. Major. Back to the minor on the first one. Here's that major part. Major. Five. And here's that last one. There we go. Have a good night, good day, whatever it is for you. I hope it all made sense. Leave the comments. I'll answer any questions. I know it's kind of like a really weird, twisty lesson. Bye, guys. Welcome back. Bye.